This presentation will cover the due process compliance activities that will take place this school year. We have two processes to ensure compliance with state and federal rules. First, we conduct internal file reviews each year to ensure that our staff know what the rules are and to identify problems internally before the State Department of Education gets involved. Secondly, we are part of a five-year cycle through the State Department that includes different activities in each of the five years. We are in year five this year, which means that MDE will be conducting a thorough review of our district this year. Staff will be asked to complete surveys, we will review some files and report the results to MDE. A small sample of our staff will be asked to answer questions online for MDE, and our MD, MDE monitor will visit our district and may visit some classrooms. For internal file reviews, we are asking buildings to review evaluation reports following the same procedure as last year. Hopefully you identified some questions and compliance issues during your review last year. This year, you have a chance to review again to see if those issues have been fixed in your school's paperwork. Each school needs to identify your file review team. This must include your school psychologist, one speech pathologist, and one special education teacher, two teachers for high schools. If you attended the file review training last year, you do not need to attend this year. Buildings may choose to keep the same file review team as last year or to have new staff trained this year. Training is one half day. Four options are available in October. Please register and keep certified to reserve your spot. Please complete this file review by May 1st, 2015. As part of MDE's site visit, they require surveys from stakeholders, including special education teachers, general education teachers, and special education paraprofessionals. They have let us know that some steps in this process have changed since the last time we went through the site visit process. We do not have all the details yet as to exactly what will be expected. You will likely hear soon as surveys were due at the end of October for districts that were reviewed last year. MDE will also require us to complete a file review. They will give us a list of names of files to be reviewed. Terry and the coordinator will review these files and will inform case managers immediately of any citations. We will want to fix citations as soon as possible, as those fixed before the file review period closes will not be reported to the State Department. Citations that take longer to fix will be fixed in the two months after the review of the files. We are hoping to review fewer files than we did two years ago, but we will have to see what we are directed to do. Buildings should expect to have between one and four files reviewed from their building. You will receive more information, including the files to be reviewed in your building, shortly after we receive that information from the State Department. MDE has stated that they wish for the site visit process to focus on outcomes for kids, not just paperwork compliance. We don't know what this looks like yet, but expect that they might inquire about instruction, not just how you fill out your forms. MDE has used to interview a small group of staff when they visited our district. Last year, they started a process of gathering the information online so as not to disturb staff during their day. We have very little information about this process as we have not experienced it before. If you are selected to be part of this process, your coordinator will contact you and walk you through what is needed. This should affect a very small number of staff. Same with classroom visits. They will visit a very small number of classes and we will know when they are coming. They're not here to judge you as a teacher, but to look at our program as a whole. This concludes this presentation.